We're going to begin, though, with a vicious dog attack downriver, sending a 12-year-old girl to the hospital. Good to have you with us at 11 tonight. That girl's father is speaking out after his daughter needed 35 stitches. The entire attack was caught on home surveillance video. Jason Colthorpe is live in Lincoln Park tonight. So, Jason, where's the dog now? It's still in the neighborhood, if you can believe that, Kim, just a few doors down from this family after this girl was attacked, had to go to the hospital, even transferred to a second hospital. But the dog is back and now this family and others in this neighborhood are living in fear. Dad, there's a dog out there. On Sunday, September 13th, Tony Burgess's son and his friend ran into the house to escape a dog on the loose in their neighborhood. Then Tony went outside to locate his daughter, Emma. When I looked over there, my daughter's on the bike. The dog grabbed right on the hold. My neighbor's home security camera captured the attack. The dog races up to 12 year old Emma on her bike with the dog's owner close behind. Moments later, the nine month old pit bull bites her leg. My only instinct was to keep punching the dog until he let go. They raced Emma to the hospital where the deep gashes in her leg required 35 stitches. These kids are afraid to play. I won't let them come out. They don't want to come out. Burgess says the dog was taken by the Lincoln Park Animal Shelter and quarantined for days, but is now back at its home just a few doors down on Garfield Street. Hey, you got nothing to say about the dog, hey, man. Take it off. Before we could ask the owner of the dog any questions, we were met with a little hostility. Walk away. You're not wanted here. To me, the wounds on this child, to me or anybody in their right mind, that dog should not be sitting in that house right now. So why is that dog sitting in that house right now? Well, when this attack happened, uh, Burgess says police responded to this whole thing and all the chaos and assumed a police report was taken on this. Well, after calling the Lincoln Park Police Department and the prosecutor's office, no one seems to have a case file on this. We couldn't reach anyone tonight at the Lincoln, uh, Lincoln Park uh, Animal Shelter, uh, but he is going in tomorrow to file that police report if there isn't one and hopes to get some action on this very soon. In Lincoln Park, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. Jason, just curious, do you know whether or not the dog has attacked anybody before? Well, we were going to ask the owners that. Obviously, that was a non-starter, as you saw, but um, we don't know. But we do know the dog has gotten out a few times before and has been loose. And I spoke to another family who um, uh, her son told me he'd actually been in that house and saw the dog was chained up in the house at one point. Mm -hmm. And in this young man's words said, that is a scary big dog. When I see it, I go the other way. So. Just, it's a problem. Yeah. Kim. Well, thankfully, it wasn't worse than what it was. Jason, we appreciate it. Yeah.